Have you ever pondered about the possibility of life thriving in the harshest and most extreme environments in our universe? Well, that's not merely science fiction, it's science reality, thanks to an intriguing group of organisms known as extremophiles. From boiling hydrothermal vents to the frigid terrain of Antarctica, these hardy lifeforms find a way to not merely survive, but thrive. One of the most intriguing examples of extremophiles is a tiny, yet mighty creature that's no larger than a speck of dust. This seemingly ordinary organism possesses an extraordinary ability to survive in conditions that would be fatal to most forms of life on Earth. From the deepest oceans to the vacuum of space it endures with an astonishing resilience. These fascinating creatures known as tardigrades are about to redefine what you thought you knew about survival. So, buckle up as we dive into the intriguing world of these microscopic marvels and their extraordinary survival skills. Tardigrades, often called water bears, are microscopic segmented animals with eight legs. These tiny creatures are true survivors, defying the odds in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. They have been discovered in some of the most extreme environments on Earth from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains. Their resilience is truly remarkable. They can endure scorching heat and freezing cold, withstand crushing pressure and persist in the absence of water. Imagine an animal so small, yet so hardy, it can outlast conditions that would be fatal to nearly all other life forms. This level of endurance is not a result of mere chance. Instead, it's a testament to the tardigrades' intricate biology and their ability to adapt and survive. But their survival skills aren't limited to Earth's varied climates. They have even survived the cold vacuum of space. In 2007, tardigrades embarked on an extraterrestrial expedition aboard the Photon M3 mission. These microscopic explorers, each with their eight legs and segmented bodies, were about to undertake a journey that would elevate them from mere water-dwelling organisms to the pioneers of space survival. The Photon M3 mission was no ordinary space voyage. It was a voyage that would test the very limits of life as we know it. The tardigrades were sent into space, exposed to the harsh conditions of the cosmos, the vacuum, the radiation, the isolation from Earth's nurturing atmosphere. It was an environment unlike anything they or any other life form had ever experienced. But the tardigrades were not ordinary creatures. Known for their resilience in extreme environments on Earth, they were about to face the ultimate challenge. And they did not disappoint. In the vast, unyielding expanse of space against all odds, the tardigrades survived. They defied the vacuum, shrugged off the radiation, laughed in the face of adversity, and became the first animals to survive in outer space. This was a feat that went beyond mere survival. It was a testament to the tardigrades' extraordinary adaptability, a testament to life's tenacity in the face of the harshest conditions. The tardigrades had not only survived, they had thrived, opening our eyes to the possibilities of life beyond our planet. This event was not just a triumph for the tardigrades, it was a triumph for science. It sparked a wave of intrigue and research. Scientists around the globe started to delve deeper into the secrets of these diminutive space pioneers. They sought to uncover the mechanisms that allowed the tardigrades to endure where no other animal could. The survival of the tardigrades in space marked a significant milestone in our understanding of life in extreme environments. It challenged our perceptions, expanded our horizons, and left us with a profound question. If the tardigrades could survive in space, what else is out there? Their survival marked a significant milestone, sparking intrigue in numerous scientific studies. The key to the tardigrades' survival lies in their unique ability to enter a state of cryptobiosis. Now you may be wondering, what is cryptobiosis? Well it's a physiological state where an organism essentially pauses life. It's like hitting the snooze button on the biological clock but with a twist. In this state all metabolic processes stop, and water is replaced with a sugar called trehalose. Now let's delve a bit deeper into this. Trehalose is not just any sugar, it's a non-reducing sugar that forms a gel-like substance within the tardigrade cells. This substance acts as a lifesaver, quite literally. It protects the cellular structures from damage when water is scarce, temperatures plummet, or radiation levels soar. Picture this. The tardigrade, sensing an incoming threat, quickly replaces nearly all of its body water with trehalose, enters the tun state, and hunkers down to wait out the storm. While in the tun state, the tardigrade is akin to a mummy, its life process is all but stopped. It can stay in this state for years, enduring conditions that would make other organisms curl up and die. When the environment becomes less hostile, 
the tardigrade simply rehydrates, and voila it springs back to life ready to eat, grow and reproduce as if nothing had happened. It's a bit like a superhero isn't it? But it's not just about surviving harsh conditions on Earth. Remember, these little water bears have survived the vacuum of space. The freezing temperatures, the lack of water, the high levels of radiation, none of it phases them thanks to this incredible tongue state. So, the tardigrade secret weapon, its superpower if you will, is this incredible ability to enter a state of suspended animation, to effectively pause life until conditions are right for survival. This remarkable ability allows tardigrades to endure conditions that would be fatal to most life forms. Now isn't that something to marvel at? Surviving in space is one thing, but what about life after the journey? Let's dive into the fascinating post-space life of tardigrades. These tiny resilient creatures don't just survive the harshest conditions of space, but they also display an astonishing ability to rebound and continue to thrive after their epic journey. Upon returning from their space voyage, tardigrades don't just hang up their hats and call it a day. No, they go on to reproduce, laying viable eggs. That's right, even after being exposed to the vacuum of space, extreme temperatures and harmful radiation, these microscopic explorers can come back to Earth and continue their lineage. It's like returning from an extraordinary vacation and getting straight back to work without missing a beat. But what about when conditions on Earth aren't optimal? What if the environment is too dry or devoid of water? Well, tardigrades have a solution for that too. They can enter a desiccated state, known as the Tun state, where they can remain for years, enduring without a drop of water. In this state, they shrivel up, tuck in their legs, and reduce their metabolic activity to an almost undetectable level. It's like they're playing the ultimate game of hide-and-seek, invisible to the untrained eye and seemingly lifeless. Yet, just when you think they've met their end, they surprise you. With just a drop of water, these dried-out tardigrades can revive. They rehydrate, stretch out their legs, and get back to the business of living. It's akin to a plant coming back to life after a long drought, only far more dramatic. So not only can these water bears survive the unfathomable conditions of space and the vacuum beyond our planet, but they can also bounce back and continue to thrive. They are the epitome of resilience, a testament to life's tenacity and its unyielding will to survive. In the world of biology, tardigrades are the ultimate comeback kids, defying odds and redefining our understanding of life's extraordinary capabilities. Not only can they survive the harshest conditions but they can also bounce back and continue to thrive. The survival of tardigrades in space has profound implications for our understanding of life in the universe. Let's take a moment to ponder on this. The existence of these microscopic marvels in the harsh void of space gives credence to the concept of panspermia. Panspermia, if you recall, is the theory that life can be spread across the universe, hopping from one celestial body to another. It suggests that life on Earth may have been seeded by cosmic dust or meteorites carrying microorganisms. Now with tardigrades demonstrating the ability to survive the vacuum, radiation and extremes of space, they lend a substantial weight to this fascinating theory. Yet the story of tardigrades doesn't end here. Their survival abilities in space aren't just a curiosity, but a subject of serious scientific inquiry. Take NASA's Cell Science 04 experiment for instance. This ongoing research aims to delve into the genetic makeup of tardigrades to understand the genes involved in their survival abilities. Imagine what we could learn from these tiny creatures. Could we perhaps apply this knowledge to enhance human endurance in space? Could it lead to breakthroughs in medicine, agriculture, or even the preservation of delicate biological samples? Remember, tardigrades have been around for over half a billion years, surviving every cataclysm that resulted in mass extinctions. They've evolved to withstand conditions that would be lethal to most life forms, and now they have become pioneers, leading the way in our exploration of life's potential in space. As we continue to study these extraordinary creatures, we gain more than just insights into their survival. We gain a broader perspective on life's tenacity and adaptability. We learn about the potential for life to exist in places we once thought uninhabitable. As we delve deeper into the secrets of these microscopic warriors, we inch closer to understanding the potential for life to thrive beyond the confines of our home planet.